Hello everyone, welcome back. We are playing some more Agami. We're now on chapter 4. Alright guys, just a quick thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the voiceover. Please keep all 5 of your skill points that you will obtain throughout this playthrough on this chapter. Because at the end you will see why. So please save your skill points or the 5 skill points that you'll get on this chapter. So the first achievement we're going to go for is called Face Off. So we need to have the throwing daggers that is located on the top left hand side of the offensive techniques. So once you have this ability, you need to find a guy with a bow. So this will be the first bow we actually encounter. So luckily I had enough points to purchase it. So pretty much the same thing for the stealth kill. You have to perform the throwing knife action and then while you're in the middle of throwing it, he has to shoot you with an arrow and kill you. So carrying on with the uh, next area, once you see a deer run across to the left, go through the trees and go directly left. This will lead you to a destroyed building and inside this building you'll find the scroll number one located on the left hand side. Scroll number two, this is located right next to one of the Disable the Barrier's objectives. So I'm not going to show you much of this because it's right next to an objective, like I said. I do have a bad habit, don't I, of actually repeating myself. Oh well, at least it helps someone. I do not care. And once again, pick up the scroll. So once you um, found, or after you finish the next area, you come through these caves, you'll get a cutscene. After the cutscene finishes, look right in between the cracks of the rock. You should shadow leap to get through to claim your scroll number three. So this is where we find one of them talesmen. I can't remember if I said it right, but I should really look in the game doing that, but... Anyway, scroll number four. This is located in the next area where the fortified wooden building is to the right hand side. So once you go through the trees, look right and you see the building. So for me personally, the best route is go through the back. Stay to the left side of the wooden fortress to me it looks wooden. So right next to the target you'll see an opening straight after that to the right hand side. Now you want to go inside and go right. This will lead you to an enemy and right next to him you'll find your scroll number four. From the last location, scroll number 5. Now we want to leave the fortress. And then you will find your scroll next to the building directly in front of you, to the right hand side of it, outside. So in this area, in the corner, on a crate and you'll find the scroll number 5. So two achievements, since I've been saving up my skill points I can purchase the void that is located on the offensive techniques on the bottom left side. Of course it's not called the void but that's what I'm going to call it. So once you disable the barrier, this is where you want to go, so go to the top of the fortress. This is just me though, because since you're down the bottom, where scroll 5 is, you hopefully should recognise this place. It's very, very, very close to where the back passage is for the wooden fortress. Just slightly to the right of it if you leave the back area. So this is where you want to place the void that you've actually obtained now, through the skill points. 
And now you will find there's two guards patrolling very close to the guard that's standing still. Once you're happy enough, use your distract move, so pressing the V key if you're playing keyboard and mouse. And then once you've um, distracted all three to come to that location, you can use your void and this will gain you the achievement for God Eater. Aggressive climbing. So that will be the main objective we need to disable, even though I disabled it in my last clip. So for the aggressive climbing, we have to do a ledge kill. That is pretty much what it is. So I can't remember exactly where that's located. I think it's the first set of skills. It's not offensive or defensive. I can't remember what the first one was. But anyway, once you obtain that skill, find anyone, it doesn't matter what level, find anyone, I'll repeat again, next to a ledge, use your shadow leap, and you can actually perform a um, ledge kill if your shadow leap cursor turns red. 